lightning stage if you're going for some kind of like aggro trial. I mean, you have an avalanche, I guess. The new avalanche is quite annoying. Like, That's you can't true. actually move. Yep. And they, they definitely want to go aggro trial against it, Samael. Like, I, I appreciate everything you do. Later on, I'll cross you. But for bottom now, lane, you've actually got uh, Tusker starting initiation. Jakiro arrives, double ice bar. They're fighting inside the marks. The machines is not good for EG because there's more support arriving. It's tiny in through the rear, tossing back S4. This should be the first blood. Close creates space, but ASD arrives. It'll connect with the lightning. Tiny's not done just yet. The avalanche trying to buy some time for the ice path to connect. E Home with four heroes on the bottom lane. Flamker is food if he gets caught out. They're wrapping around the back, looking for the Tinker. Level six clock, as you said, gonna look for the hook in. Waits for it, Ego jukes it up, and they turn their attention over towards Innocence. He's looking to get the ice path off, but just so heavily interrupted. They're tossing and throwing around S4 with the Mars Machines creating space. And EG, they got a kill, but it's not the one they've got 4.2k for Samael. It's a little bit behind. The 10 minute bounty rune contest gets to happen once again. E home. They should already get. Okay, they're going to get all four bounty runes. That is huge for them. The ice path goes down, but already Tunny the toss. A little bit of missed synergy, allowing now the hook shot to come forward from S4. He'll close the distance and try to deny to the Ancients. Will not be in time. Would have been hoping for, depending which which part of the world you're from. Yeah, Good mid they got it. Yeah, they're going to force TB. So Flag tomed up. They're ready to go. Hooks off cooldown as well. And he's looking for it, but already the attack in from Tiny. Tosses available, throwing him back underneath Comes the tower. Fly. Into the pulse moment. No way S4 want, S4 want to be. The Phoenix Sun does come out. They all got hit by the sprites, so they can't attack fast enough. Imprisonment from Samal is actually going to at least actually buy time for Jakiro to walk away from this, but it will still not be enough. The shards are blocking up. Innocence can't walk out, but at least he can get the ice path down. So Fly will die in the back lines. This looked actually pretty clean at the start from EG, but it ended up being a two for two trade off. But Artisi just sends his illusions forward. Keep the creep wave off, Tinker. He'll have to play from inside the tree line. There's multiple TPs coming in. Artisi now begins his back off as Faith Beyond will join the defense. I love this though. If you watch, they not only have a ward on the shrine, but look at how Crit and S4 were playing this. They know as long as we maintain presence on this dire shrine, Ooh, Artisi only has to fear the tower team. That Invis, he can get the initial stun, turns on the pulse nova. Crit and S4 will tank it. The Dark Sea wall is down. Snowball save. In fact, moves them forward towards the Tinker, doing heavy damage. The clockwork will hook away. Crit will die. Fly, fly. A nice EG, the snowball and the astral. They're seeing crit just twitching on the other side of the river. Double damage, pick up, toss him back underneath the ice bar. Snowball's down. They kind of got to stay in the ice bar to get the sun, but it will not happen. Crit back, back in control. Support is nearby, but it will not be rendered. And this is just actually kind of like a. Like a fun build to watch in from ASD with a Latrak. So he's going in for a Bloodstone. That's some heavy regeneration. Once that Eclipse hits, he can S4. get his life back again pretty quickly. S4 just walks out with a cock. What? He was <laughs> looking for <laughs> Divine Intervention. Power Spike 3 home. you got to be careful if you're EG. You've got your ult up. You want to take a good fight here. S4. But there's a Crimson Guard mech on the dark seer. Movement forward. Hulk shot in from S4. Cleans up the line by putting the cogs down. But the four stars from Eho allow the repositioning. Ego's getting the Master Machines down. The Ice Path and the Macro Pyre. Not to mention the Dark Sea Wall is causing problems for Evil Jesus. They want to back up. The BKBs have been expended, and Jakiro is the only one to die. And he buys back, looking for the fight to continue. Here's your jump board with a thunder! In from Martinez, combining with the Eclipse of Snowball. Oh. All of EG are taking the Uber try all the way to the Tier 1 tower, killing off the Jakiro for another dieback. Tani down as well. But Shrek's finding the back lines, but he's low on mana. Dark Sea is pretty much out of it. So EG turn their attention to that mid Tier 1 tower. Huge fight for EG. Massive thunder for us. Easy. Oh, Latrak, are you really hey, forcing this? Tinker Rockets are flying in. He's keeping the spam up, but no one's low enough to die. And you can see EG, you got to be careful about these long engagements. When their BKBs are up, they have no fear. As they fade, you can see Faith Beyond chasing gets a sick Fire is ready, and maybe now. Oh, EG. That's the smoke break. They know they're up the hill. Ice pop. It doesn't do anything. The BKBs come up from EG way too quickly. And e home have to go on a full retreat. Double BKBs. This has to be more of a fight. But inside the Mars Machines, not where they want to be. The Supernova is down. So Fly will be able to survive. He was low in life. He had no other choice but a big ultimate being dropped. The double BKBs down. They wanted to go for Roshan. EG may have to think twice about it. And Spell Amp Talent. He's going Ags next. This is the full DPS AOE Tinker build. They're running top. Oh, he's in trouble. He's too far away. He doesn't creeps. have BKB available. He can't even TP out this if he wanted to. Up through the trees. The Tinker needs to keep the vision up. Sunder gives him the life. Oh, the damage! Ego's gonna die! 
That's easy. He does have options. Support's coming in from Tusker. How long can he live through this? 17 one charges. Not long enough. Into the trees. The Pulse Nova will bring him down. So ASD finds the kill. Ice Path gonna miss. He popped that to try and DPS me down. He finds the aggro Sunder and just chases to find the kill. Bottom lane, the setup's there. Avalanche forward. S4 tossed up. They have the damage with the stun control and they body block him out. So there's no hook shot available to get aside. This tiny shadow blade. We're not going to catch up more, but the Observer and Sentry from Diaside will be able to see Terra Blade, but they want to find Clockwork. Toss him back in. Perfect ice path. There will be the problematic of that blade mill of Clockwork, but they just tank through it. Yep. And well, find the kill. A quick D ward, but the Dark Sea wall creates the illusions. Terra Blade wanting to walk away. He's got BKB available. The ice path already connected to Terra Blade on the half life. Remember that Sunder BKB? Oh. They need to burst him down, and now he'll BKB. Looking for a Sunder target. It's going to be the Dark Sea of Faith Beyond. The support is moving in. Tinker TPing the tribe. These BKBs, they're wearing out quickly because they bought them so early. They're four stopping forward. They still want the Terra Blade. No Sunder, no BKB. Tiny toss him up in the air. The ice path won't connect, but maybe with Lushrak in the middle of the fight. Defensive imprisonment is doing the work. And Tusker could create space in the back line. He's got the space created and the shard block up. They will not want to force it. Powerful. The turnaround potential of a Tusk and a clock catching you off guard. Like. The double save. Blink on, o Blink on OD ready. Oh, hook shots out, and no. you'll say goodbye to Innocence. TB the But later Hunting. in this game. Surging. Tiny forward. He's not underneath the sentry wall. They've got their own sentry. Now he is visible, and he jumps in. Double avalanche. They need a combination. The stun with the back with the BKBs from Samal. Come on. He's got Eclipse available. He can just drop it on the head to the north if he wants to find the kill. But he doesn't have a vision to play with. Now his BKB will wear off. Defensive imprisonment. Is there a follow up? Double drag. He presses it. The eye pass. That's a male. He blinks. It's away! Cripple go into the snowball, that may be a make more space of the shot. He controls up three in the back lines. Another defensive imprisonment from Samel. Cripple finally go down to the Dagon of Tinker, but then looking for a bit of force up in the Eclipse! Samel is trying to style, but even he does not have enough style to get away from that E. He had teleported out towards bottom. You do not want to be there. It's fine to lose Tusk, like we've said, but Sumel just a bit over aggressive. They're going again. Avalanche in. Arteezy. Now the target in mid. They want him to burn this BKB again. He can send a life on Tiny, but it's not a lot of life. He gets back again. The Ice Pass will miss this. Miss. Not to mention the split earth, but his BKB. He turns around, looking for the kill of Lashrak. Underneath the Supernova, he feels more confident. S4 as well, but they don't have a lot of life. The dump from the Supernova will connect over on the high, gr on the high ground. But with the Avalanche behind the line, they still need to keep moving north. It's just not possible. e -Hope, they're sliding all over EG, and EG is slippery as hell, all down into the grave. Five hero is done. Saving Arteezy is the goal. Even if he's got a BKB run away, so be it. It's already down to they six got more. seconds. Like Crip, he's walking in. He thought he can go for some shenanigans, but the Observer and Sentry is up. Tiny keeps him occupied as Roshan will go down, but you know Support wants to jump over. In fact, it's going to be Crit starting up the unit counter initiation onto Tiny, giving some L some intel buff up. So Tiny will throw away his life to create the space for E-Home to get the egg. And you do have, or oh, you have Tiny with Tree. They are pretty damn good at bringing down buildings. Crit, they saw under the Invis rune, a sentry ward is there. They back him back in, and that is one very dead task guard. Dead for 50 seconds. e -Home. With an Aegis Immortal behind them. EG is preparing a yep. gank. They now picked Clockwork out Arteezy, they know he's not here. The rock comes out, and they need to get the Avalanche through the tree lines. Clockwork should be okay. The tree toss will not be able to reach it, but underneath the Observer Ward, that as well. I guess S4 can have a very good vision of his own death. You don't want to grab it too early, because then you might potentially lose it, and then all of a sudden, Ehome's massive lane shove Flash. and off potential. The playing forward, looking for the kill on Arteezy, but Arteezy only to walk a little bit further forward. Avalanche toss, something needs to save AS. The Aegis Immortal will break. Arteezy still has his BKB as well as the Thunder. There's going to be a hard fight for Eharm to take. Though in this arm, inside the Dark Sea Wall and the Macropie. Maybe they have the damage. Perfect. Phoenix Sun is out. Eharm must retreat. Tuska will fall. Eharm do get out of range of the Phoenix Sun. And you've got Lashrak on the run. Banished up. He triggered the Bloodstone. So he already got his life back up again. But the Tinker, the laser hits. The Sun Ray will burn through. Lashrak goes down. Tiny will join him too. Fly is going to do so much work. He'll get the kill on Tiny in the back lines. Watch Kira dies in the front, fly with a double kill. That's 178 int on the OD.
which all goes to buffing up the Eclipse, thanks to the Tinker Observer Ward that's down. Arteezy knows exactly where Tiny's walking, but Ehome, they're running up behind. They want to be involved in this fight. The Lightning Storm will bounce the Tinker Ward. He he's already need the Tinker Ward. He'll bounce a little bit further up. He's out of vision, just letting the rocket spam forward, and maybe they have enough control, but no! There goes your Eclipse. Faith Beyond's BKB will protect him so he can surge himself away underneath the Phoenix Sun, but on the other side, Clockwork dying to Latrak. The Blink Fort from ASD gives him a double kill, but you know Samal wants more. 28 intel stolen. He hit so hard. Make it 32. Eclipse, he'll have his way to jump back out to Ego. Too. A quick blink. Faith Beyond is running back as Arteezy chases him as well. ASD will finally go down. That was a certainty. They want to go the bottom lane mid as well as top. Has pushed out a little bit. A BT down from the Tinker. Clockwork, oh, he, he reveals himself. He turns blink. on the Blade Mount, so that's why the third blink of Barbel and OD also arrives. Tinker will just go down. Buyback to Barbel. I think he. For great positioning. He's not with his team. He's not roaching. He's actually playing as far from the pit as possible because that's the lane Tinker will feel the safest in. Oh, Jukura and Macro Pie is the bottom lane. They won't have that deep push in the mid. Four star forward. Tiny. He's got Shadow Blade available. They don't have any detection inside the base, but they don't want to have to oh, buy back small. on Tinker. So Faith B. Beyond. He'll burn the wall to create a copy of the Terror Blade. Wants to try and yep. keep it alive. Samel jumps in yeah, to try and exactly. get rid of it, but it won't happen. You don't need EG, just go top. Yep. You know the wall is down. This is the big damage. This, this is the only way Ehome gets physical damage. No Macrofire, no wall. Tinker still refusing to buy back. Fortification is up. ASD has returned to the lane. But looks like evil geniuses yeah. and we'll take this top lane of Rax. Watch for Samael to just get active. He's Jump threat. so threatening. There he is. Buyback from the Tinker. Terra Blade. So much damage. So much life steal. Thanks to the Satanic Tinker. Oh, will finally buy back. And Samael, he's underneath the fountain. Drop the A triple kill. The back of 36 stolen int. Man. e home have to be. Well, yeah. <laughs> get educated. Tinker's dead. That was the Tinker buyback. This is the game, really. Without Tinker, there's no way that Ehome can really defend their lane of ba th their base. What I said, one fight, one, one kill. Tinker's dead. Oh, well, easy just, win. Just like Powerball, one, one fight can change it all for you. Even Refresher will be purchased up by Terrorblade. They got the Hex out. They oh. damage onto Jakiro. Samael hits like a truck. 40 stolen intelligence. They're trying to get the counter kill into him. Samael is low, but he will be able to survive. And in fact, they go in even deeper. Samael actually got the Sundered Life out from the Terror Blade, and that's who ASD is chasing down. He's forgotten the rest of his team. He's chasing after the Terror Blade, but it won't happen. Hookshot avoided. ASD, he's buying time, but I'm not quite certain time for what. Look at where Sumail is. He's in the base. Casually just hurricane yeah, fighting. Just, just, just killing oh, everybody. Oh, he the refreshers! Oh, yeah. He bought it. He actually bought it before he must have sold it and repurchased it with the Eclipse. He gets one more kill on the Faith Beyond. Latrak is still battling as much as he can over towards the shrine to get some mana back. It's a little bit of chip damage. It was their initiation onto the support, but they still can't find the kill. Instead, they find Samal, the Avalanche. He'll get the BKB off the Avalanche. He was never able to connect. Tiny hexed up for the moment. You know Samal wants to get a little bit of intel. Okay, that's a little bit of an interesting hurricane pike, but now the all boom, 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 boom. All flying down to the Tiny. Run home, however. Arteezy is taking the tier three towers. So while this fight goes on, Ehome are being mega creeped by the Terror Blade. They have to try and cancel any TPs back. Faith Beyond it won't work either. Trying to BKB and search away. He didn't want to have to use that one before. So Crit and Fly will stay on the back of his tail. But Arteezy just going yeah, for the BKB full He is isolated, but he has Refresher Orb as well as the BKB. So here you go again. The double parallel wall. They need to try and bring him down. Avalanche toss. That's off to a support. His BKB is there. Not to mention the Sunder. He won't even have it. No one's got enough life for him to really steal it. They back the it back in. Maybe actually he has to be pushed back. The Range Rex isn't down just yet. The Tinker makes it difficult when the laser bounce is through, giving that missed chance. The parallel walls are there, another back is still on cooldown for the moment, but the range track is finally brought down. Lashrak wants to fight, but so does Samel. Here comes your orb attacks into Lashrak. 12 down Sound on the end, two. and Samel gets smarter and smarter. 52 intelligence stolen, and he's got a clip, so you he's know he wants to nuke him. This is going to be fun. I Ready? Oh, Ready? he's going to go. Ready? Ahead. Ready? Hammer is in now. Three, two, one. Boom! Goodbye, Faith Beyond. Goodbye, everybody else. The Nova's dropped as well. Samael is as smart as they come. He'll end this game on 84 to 88. Stolen intelligence against e -Home. It's a smart draft. They are meant to be geniuses. Evil. I, I agree with that statement, Toby. But the script.
<laughs> like, 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 like this. That's how I play. That's it. not what that's called. How is it called? That's not what that's called. Cross legged? Oh, cross legged position. But butterfly. Town this and time. Come. Directly in front of E Harm. And they just like, it's a it's a will to dive. S4 at least can juke it up a little bit. But they just keep Ether shocking him down. Now you go into your tag team. And with the spin damage, they're a little bit clustered inside the trees. E Harm walking over their own feet. But this is the exact thing we were worried would happen again. S4 locked in. Brought down. In seven minutes against his name. This time around, it's a lot better. Faith Beyond up on top lane has Innocence to help him out, and they actually look towards Fly. Innocence actually begins his attack on the Fly. A little bit difficult when he gets hit by the Fire Spirits while on bottom lane. Uh, Seconds. The best creep for a Doom to grab being aggressive. You could argue. Now they move top. Snowball going in after Terra Blade. Now had a free game before he begins his TP, but uh, the shackles are available. Terra Blade will fall, and Fly has no other active Doom going to TP top. And they recognize Artur just can't lane, uh, but he's in trouble. Bottom Artur is this. actually dead. They start with the Hex, they can go on to spin and shackle. And Arteezy cannot walk away. No TP supports to come in from supports because, well, they just don't exist. It's going to be a kill every time. And now he's going to go back to the woods, TPs to the shrine. I think he has to stick in the middle now. They're going forward with Crit, trying to find an initiation while Death Prophet has a spirit siphon up. Snowball protects two and they're going towards Samel. That's the target they want to kill off. ASD up on the hillside, does the damage, gets the distance away from Crit. Now can continue to fight if they want to. And they will not do so. Back up from the mid. Shaman gets the Hex off. Shackles as well. Icarus dies available, so Fly will use it. The Aether Shock does a hell of a lot of damage, but they want to move over the targets. Innocence puts down the Observer Order up on top. Faith Beyond continuing his run. TP supports coming in from OD. He wants a defensive imprisonment to save Faith Beyond some time. In fact, he goes aggressive. Faith Beyond just continues to walk away while Crit comes back to the world of reality, and reality is death. Oh, again, well, neither. Not level 6 yet. But they should be able to secure this tower. Although this is this is the strength of Underlord. Faith Beyond just planting himself, spamming the wave like all the melee creeps Oscar. just die. He's coming from behind. The beginning extra TP to the top lane. They want to try and fight underneath this Underlord. Tiny is going to be there. They already get the toss back. Underlord begins to TP away to safety. Tusker will keep him alive inside the snowball. What's the mechanics work? Underlord no. The step back. It didn't come in time. Innocence tried to buy as much space as Illusion, though. Now that he is, but no. He doesn't oh. see around the trees. Now he goes down into the lane. Sees, but has to cut through the path. Begins his own TP out. They don't what? see it. The TP, the snowball will end up canceling it. Now TZ will die. He almost got away, but you want to turn your attention towards the mid lane. Fly as well as S4 doing the wraparound with the Zerg Ward. They see the Juggernaut. Spin is out, but Doom will go through this. And he gets back to the tier 2 tower. ASD. It's going to be the imprisonment. Keep the Doom out of play. Build up this intel and then drop the Eclipse if possible. Doom will fall and even get the Hex. Fly. Shackles means the Supernova cannot come out. Fly. He tries to drop down one sprite. He has no if he's going to survive this, but there's no way he does. He'll die from imprisonment and it'll be a waste of an ultimate. But look at this sustain. Drop the healing ward and E home push. I, I watched EG do that exact same move with the same failed result against Vici yesterday. That's not a dive you want to be making as two players. These teams from China right now are oh, too active on the blink forward. This blink from ASD is really paying for itself. Death Prophet, the only slash kills are off so quickly. Doom bringing TPs in to try and do the defense. But no level of aura that he provides will allow them to survive. He home already used the mass thermals, but here we go again. Another blink imprisonment from ASD. Support's arriving. The pit controlling up Tiny. He wants to walk away. Oh, no. The centaur! Neutral's fighting against China. He home will have to back up all five heroes. Getting stomped off. I thought so. If he's able to get enough items. There's a lot of heroes up on top lane. EG is starting to bring more, however, as the Hex has come out. Mass Earth was committed. They want to get the shackles over on the Doom Bringers. The damage can kick in, but then Phoenix Sun and Doom both being committed. This is a real troublesome fight for Ego. He will be brought down because Samel was able to get in range. Gets the last hit. Mass Earth Mort's farmed up, but meanwhile, it's going to be Samel. OD has arrived in the fight. Looking for more up in the trees. The Hex is around. They're controlling S4. Shackles are up. you got Faith Beyond to lend the secondary stun. S4 is just trapped and all that's stolen in now being used to amplify the damage of the OD. Does he pop from this? They want to stick around to ensure it, but ASD was already walking away. Can accelerate his level of farm. Mid lane, uh, Innocence, right next to Crit. He's pretty tanky to get through, with Faith Beyond being the support, it's not enough damage for them, but uh, won't matter when they get the kill on bottom lane. 
flies out once again, but here goes your attack. Sunders there, Faith BR being tossed around. Arteezy with a double damage rune. It's farming both neutrals and feels pretty confident just to lend another hit. OD. Not to mention OD is ready to jump. 16 intelligence still stolen as he jumps in. The Eclipse will instantly get the nuke. The Tiny has no mana and ASD's orb. It followed fly through the Icarus dive. A toss out from O. Oh, it gets a revenge. Samael will arrive enough of time to get much more in. Uh, okay, Underlord is not going to join the fight. And he may have wanted to. Hex on S4 has the blink dagger, so he just jumps over towards the Shaman. Saw him down with a clap. Nothing to deny himself off to, so say goodbye to Shaman. Juggernaut not one. S4 is looking for a target on top lane. That Doom Wants as well. to sync with Samael. Also notice Samael's item build. Okay, he's going to reveal himself. Blink in. Gets the hit. You've already got another control. It's going to be Phoenix jumping forward with the Sun Ray trying to burn through the Underlord. Need another, another Spirit Siphon as they chase Faith, Faith Beyond yeah. through the tree line. A good kill, and that's Samel's KB as well as uh, yeah. he's already got the Kaya. S Force walking up with the Observer Ward. So Faith Beyond knew this was coming. A three man smoke up, and they look for flight. That snowball's going the opposite direction. And they don't get either because the Hex. Oh, that was only just in range, but thanks to Ether Lens, that range is still enough. S4 trapped in the tree lines. No TP scroll available. Two seconds before he can get his blink back off cooldown as the da tick damage is slowing down, but okay, it's it's in trouble. Another pit, ensuring Doom doesn't get away, and this will be a kill, but it takes three heroes to get it. Oh, oh, yeah, they found for the creep skip, and yep, you're right, they find OD, toss him up, throw him back down again, a thunder even from Marteze. Switch the line damage behind him. He could just pop that exorcism. A blink too. And the physical damage will start to arrive. They start the sun ray over on Underlord. He's moving back behind the tower. There's no mana. He's got no pit. The silence. They jump oh. forward. Shaman can't get the hex. Samael was so quick on this one. Shaman protected by the snowball. That's the first save. The sharp lockout mail out. Innocent to go. No, it won't. Toss forward from Samael. No serpent. Weep straight towards them. E home. You're playing in ages now. You got to be careful. Let's go. Staying close. The pit. Actually, are looking for the Doombringer. The pit will end up catching too as Tosca tossed away, but OD comes to the front lines. And it looks like Crew will be the sacrificial lamb standing his ground and dying to ASD. Matizi, he has BKB in Aegis. So even if they get this once, they'll have to get this twice, but they'll start with the Hex, following up with the Shackles. This is the control. First spin. They clean up the Kree Wave. This will make the Omnicide even more oh effective. No. They tossed him. He didn't get you, the Thunder off. No, but they used the Punch. He can be giving TP now. Oh, one, two. boy. The Mass Left more. Arteezy trapped. Now the Omnicide isolating Arteezy. He creates an illusion, trying to negate some of the damage. And then oh. Thunder the Ego. e -hope. They gave the fight to Arteezy. And supporters arrived from Evil Jesus. The rest of them, they won out. But Samael is there. Faith Beyond. He can't all anymore they use it to come down even the doom they can't do anything OD can attack through his own BKB he'll back up but you're seeing crit he's jumping in through the back lines as the EG lineup they stampede forward look for a target face behind the tree just gets his TP off in time e home should be lucky they get away with only the for target and this this is the BKB time for EG you're gonna have one finished on Sumail now S4 is gonna finish his most oh, likely nice. for the next team crit. fight finds his target up the observer and sentry Defensive yields up, RD actually hits the ground. That was not defensive, that was a great... A pick off. You want to kill somebody before they get the big ultimate off. And you've got to be concerned just because of the amount of damage Arteezy can do. And look at this, oh, TP coming in. TP, but... Shaman. They were waiting for him. The uh, Dire Observed Ward was too shallow. Shaman does have buyback available, but you can see Crit trying to capitalize on it, picking up the Tusker, throwing it back in. He'll snowball, but Arteezy arrives. Metamorphosis up. Oh. See this Underlord TP coming out. Bounty runes have spawned, fly grabs one, he's on his way, the DP ult gets popped, they're going for it. Yeah, with exorcism, the amount of physical damage that EG outputs is so big. Very defensive mass serpent wards behind the tower, but EG, they'll farm it up with Arteezy. A pit move up to top instead. Gotta be careful, the meta and DP ult will be fading off soon. You don't want to be caught in an engagement here. Get the tier 3, get the and hell get out back. of here. They can tank arrives, fortifications available, they'll burn it. Try and waste a little bit of the time of the exorcism. The silence didn't really do a lot to face beyond, he's even loaded all up. That's a good three-man pit, but where's your follow-up? Where's your attack? Mass up more defensive, something. They actually trap over on the terror blade, but, but the damage is being done already. The tier 3 tower is gone, Samael is focusing on the racks. The Crimson Guard is actually delaying this fight and they toss back in Faith Beyond to look for the attack. Terrorblade, he's dropping low, but Aegis Immortal is still available. Even with Sobol forward, the Lotus oh. Orb, he'll send him back. This is actually really problematic. They're going to go deep into the deep four towers, but that's easy BKB. There ain't no problem here. E-Home's going. They're dropping like flies. Two heroes down, but flies revive.
as Innocence wants to keep this battle going. This will be a second full lane of Rax now taken. Top lane is the only thing that survives for Ehome. They don't have the Shaman, but they want to fight. Sunder already getting the life back into the Terran Blade. It's not like he's already got the Aegis Immortal available too. The where's the sustain? There's no Omni Slash. The Doom Man's out, and they're all going down. Say goodbye to Tuscar. Juggernaut is doomed. He's the one that can't get back to safety. And OD, he's starting to build up some intelligence, but he's got no other team to be the frontliner. <laughs> the deny comes out at the end there. Ehome will call the GG. GG. Well done by Evil Geniuses. Game one looked really close for Ehome, even though they had a draft problem. Game two, the draft looked better for Ehome, but EG's execution in the read of this game was on point. Yeah, they played.